What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to episode 177 of the Speaking English Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Sebastian, and as always, I welcome you and thank you for watching. As you know, you can check out all the archives, all the old episodes at speakingenglishpodcast.com. You can also download most of them from there. There's a download uh, section. You can connect on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, you can send me an email to speakingenglishpodcast at gmail.com. Today, we will address a topic that was sent in by Jose Roberto from Brazil, um, who used the contact form on the website, speakingenglishpodcast.com, to ask, please explain Isle and Island, and the fact that there's an S in the spelling, but you don't hear it. So we have done the silent uh, B and the silent R, now we do the silent S. Isle is spelled in this case A I S L E, and island is I S L A N D. Isle is, uh, for example, when you are in a church and you have the seats on the one side and seats on the other side and the little walkway in the middle where the bride and groom walk through. Uh, well, the bride walks, but the groom's usually already there at the altar. Um, that's called the aisle. What the bride does uh, during a wedding or in the beginning of the wedding is walking down the aisle. And there is an S in that word, but you don't pronounce it at all. Isle. Isle. You don't even think about an S. You just forget about the S. Um, I looked it up, and this, the origin is um, probably um, from Axel, Axis. And, uh, you know, the um, church usually were, uh, churches often in the beginning were, uh, like like a cross kind of, you had the long thing and then the uh, uh, orthogonal thing with the wings, and axle ma means wings. And then you know the uh, all the different uh, language mixtures with uh, French and uh, so forth, and uh, it turned out into Isle, A I S L E. And then, of course, you have island or the smaller islands, which can also be called isle, but then uh, spelled I-S-L-E, for example, in the, in the Isle of Man. Um, so island also, there's an S. And although it's a second uh, letter, you don't pronounce it. You just say island. It's kind of like an, an iMac or an iPhone. You have an island. Just the stress in the pronunciation is on the first syllable, island. Okay? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, explanation. Island. I land with pronunciation in the beginning. Island. So, there you have it, Jose Roberto. I hope I answered your question. Thank you for sending it in. Tell all your friends about it. And um, again, join us on Facebook. Um, what, uh, visit the website speakingenglishpodcast.com check out the archives send in your own question but most of all thank you for watching thanks for tuning in